Mayong Adlaw sa Tanan, Happy Tuesday, and welcome to another episode of Agio PIA 7 Forum. Live kita karon over DYMR Radio Pilipinas Cebu, 576 kHz sa inyong mga radio. Ug aduna pud kitay delay telecast over my TV channel 30 Mondays through Saturdays 3 pm to 4 pm and Sundays 1 pm to 2 pm kini si Stacy Marie Baladia Og ako si Francis Nakwa and also Stacy as you may forget uh, we are also live sa Philippine Information Agency Region 7 nya Facebook page where na ato ang mga subscribers and mga listeners can also drop their comments or questions for our panelists and yes we are here at the Department of Health Regional Office 7 in Osmeña Boulevard for this another round of discussion which is brought to you by the Philippine Information Agency Region 7 in partnership with the Association of Government Information Officers in the region. That's right, Francis. So, sa katong mga na ay questions, no? Atong mga online viewers, pretty regular ka ayaw mong maka-comment down below sa ato ang live streaming karun if na may questions sa atong panelists. So, speaking of panelists, uh, let me introduce our first panelist. We have Dr. Jo Anriti Riveral, Medical Specialist 2 from the Department of Health Region 7, and he is also the Regional Leprosy Program Coordinator. Um, Dr. Riveral will be talking to us about the National Skin Disease um, Detection and Prevention Week celebration, as well as the other common skin diseases um, we experience here in the Philippines. Ain't that right, Francis? Yes, Stacy. And with that, uh, may we ask na lang po for Dr. Riveral's uh, opening statement. Good day to everyone. Oh. Yeah. At this karong buwan na nagsaulog taog uh, more on a skin uh, awareness month. Nga, remember, ang ato ang panit is a biggest organ. You have to pro protect them. Nabi na karong mga panahon na nag-changing ato ang change for me ato ang mga panahon. So an aware tang ang atong panit di ay na-irritate na. O niya, ang init sa kistanan, ang ato sa kaya pong panit, ma-irritate. Kaya itong trabaho, labi na ata sa magbuwan sa init. So not knowing, akan atong ultraviolet skin makadestroy itong panit. So muna atong proteksyonan, atong bantayan, mga hinaot, through this advocacy, ang atong mga kaisunan, makahibalo, ang usay ang pagkabuhat, ang nasa lang mga kanasakis silang panit. With us also today is... Attorney Melissa Jane Kumafay, Project Coordinator of IDEALS or the Initiative for Dialogue and Empowerment through Alternative Legal Services for the World Remembrance Day for Road Traffic Victims Focus on Road Safety. So I'm, yes, I am, came from Manila today just to be able to discuss with you the, our very big event on Sunday, actually, that's uh, November 17. And this is, uh, what's this, an event that has been celebrated in, um, it, its uh, origins are in Britain since the, the, yes, so since the 90s. So, um, and hopefully this will give more awareness about the road safety issues that we have in the Philippines. Thank you so much, Attorney Kumafay. So without further ado, Francis, no, ito nang sugda ng atong one-hour discussion karon. So yes, sugda na to about sa National Skin Disease Detection and Prevention Week, um, Dr. Riveral. Mga tanat ako, Doc, kanos ani na to siya gina-celebrate and unsa man yun ato ang goals ani nga celebration. So tibok buwan ta, on yan, ato mga activities ani nga mo, on awareness nga punta doon kasi kay ato bang mga kaigsunan karon tungkol sa ato mga trabaho. Ako ba nang walay trabaho? They are unaware that they are in panic, that something na, na, na broken ang ilang, uh, skin. Then it, it will cause lesions in the form of mga itchiness or maybe mga magpula-pula, magpute-pute. So, dili sila ingon mag self medicate Na ato mga health center open na sila. Na ato yung mga available kaling mga ointment. Gani sa month of uh, February, we have a clitus cutis activity. Na ato yung mga ipanghatag ng antifungal infection. Na ato yung mga uh, para allergy. Pero mga kaya po nga, they should be aware. Kung this labinas mga bata, no? Kadaghan na rin mga konsulta karoon sa ato mga health centers. Gani ibang mga bata, ang ilang mga panit, mag-allergy, labinas, not knowing at tungkol sa apog. O sa sa ato ang mga matikdan karoon, labinas mga bata. Kaya, ang mga ginikanan, apiki kayo sila hang pirmi ng trabaho, wala sila ng lugar sa pagtanaw sila mga anak. So ay ilang mga anak, wala sila wala yung hugas. So ang imo skin, ang skin ng mga bata, ang tinensi nga, mag-rasis. So was mga magrasis na siya na we have our natural nga kanang kagaw sa tong panit. Pero kung ma-break na imong skin, di na siya mag-continue. Primero, makatol imong kauton. 
So out of that sakatol, hantod ng makasot ng kagaw na maybe natural or maybe other, other allergens na maka, makareact sa si mong panit. So initially, ang panit ana magkatol-katol. Katol gina, si pangilkil, hantod magdagha na si uh, skin irritation. So kanin sa kusab, kanin nga uh, atong narikatang mga iro, kanin para karapata. Kaya ang sakit sa panit, duhan ang klase na ay manakod, na sa dili manakod. An example sa dili manakod, kanin psoriasis. Are you aware ng psoriasis? Yung puti-puti ilang panit niya na pa'y pakapin nga mura bitag tahok, inig kabuntag, pertigin ng katula. Actually, hindi sa manakol, auto-immune disease siya nga og matins ka, ma-pressure ka, musamot ng imuhang panit. Ang imong panit, dili na ka-identify sa imong kakulingon nga panit, muna nga pirmi lang bag-o. So once inig bag-o sa imong panit, mukatol na siya, matins ka nagmayo. Imong ikaot, hantod, magkakos na nag-secondary infection. So aritas manakol. Uh, virus na sa mga virus ng mga manakod karon example kanay mga kunggo kulugo virus na sa nas mga bata kana magdua sa yuta no ka ka virus na siya so ang tambal lahi isa at ang tambal gamiton at the one is prevention kita nga maglimpyo kita pirmi uh, uh, wash with uh, soap and water so kaning fungal infection fungus kani ba mga kana ba mag alap up no daghan kanang klase aris ulo aris naong aris tibok lawas So kanang kana isa fungal di isa mo response na ang antibacterial nga kanang ointment. So atong i-remind tong mga kaigsuonan nga unsay gigamit sa silingan ay nagsunod-sunod nila. At to gimos doktor kay doktor gid maka-diagnose atong sakit sa panit. So napailaan pa kining manakod aritas bacterial number one is leprosy. In fact karon we are unaware nga there are cases of leprosy kanang uh, packet areas of leprosy nga na di nagtago-tago adi nga nagtago-tago was lucky baw nga ilang sakit sa panit usa din nakakagaw nga leprosy. Bakteriya na siya. Unya, ang iyang mode of transmission na na, kana abang droplet. Asa na gikan ang leprosy, sir? Uh, na, na, I don't. Na, na, yuta. Bisa, asa na siya. Nga, ang imo na siyang ma- mahanggap. Dahil ang imong resistance, imong lawas, medyo apiki kayo, im- uh, immunocompromise ka, ang may tabu niya, nga, muistar na sa imong nerve. Kanang nerve nga nagsurprise sa imong uh, panik, no? may sensory nerve, doon na klase, sensory motor. Initially, ang imong sensory nerve, kana abang You can identify what is hot and cold, di ba? Makahikap ka o bugnaw, imo na i-withdraw, init, imo na i-withdraw mo na sa sensory nerve. So later on, katong motor nerve nga aksyon na nga siya. So ang tinensya, ang imong muscle, mong gamay, mag-paralyze na na siya, mo na makakost na siya deformities. So ang nana siya, imong mahanggap, if you have a good immune system, kaya gibakunahan mo tag-BCG, kung tahon pa na niya, hantog taguan sa imong nerve, no? sa imong swan cell, mo na supportive structure sa imong nerve. Hantog nga di gito siya matambalan, kinalang isang tambal kay This, the, uh, this needs chronic. Naagi kayo mag, kana ba, magpuyo ka sa usa ka lugar na usa ka individual huwag ito magtambal, magsingin sa takod. O niya, masakit ka klain, weak na yung resistance. So, hantun mo, flare-ups yung panit, magputi-puti na, magpula-pula. So, when we try to examine, ang kana iyang lapak ka, iyang lesyon, di niya kabatsyag o uh, sensory. Loss of, kana ba, kana ba, uh, anesthetic na. So, ato nang tambalan, kaya atong purpose karon is early detection, tambal ta, para to to cut the transmission. Para ayang laway, wala na siya kakaw. Na this is chronic, dili di ay ugma, taktan ka na, dili. This will take 3 to 15 years ang yung incubation period nga matakot ka. Nga naman, nga hinay man siya pagtakot. Kaya ang iyang usang kapasilay, mudubol na siya to, three to uh, 15 to 45 days or average of 30. Muna ang usang kapasilay. Unlike in TB, kada adlaw sige siya multiply. Muna ang atong tambal, pwede na sa atong din, ang atong purpose is to kill the basilay. Ha? So ang, 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 ang mga tao, At least, dili, dili kayo burden kasi ibang pagtrabaho-trabaho nga ang, ang na, na, nabiktima na ato kayo pumatambalan. Not dili nga sa unang panahon, imo, amo, amo man ang taguan o sanitaryong, di ba? We have eight sanitaryos in the whole Philippines. O sa nang Eversley. So, makitaan ka na isimtumas that all kang Eversley. Taguan ka dito. Wala pa may tambal. Pero 1990s na, nagsugod-sugo na tao mga tambal, amo naghihatag na pwede na tambalan sa balay. So, atong tuyo nga, yung laway, wala na siya kagaw. So, Just in case nga na deform naging siya nakitaan, ga, gani, uh, two weeks ago, dito ko o uh, region 10, usa ka lugar dito sa Manila Portis, nakakuha ko 61 new cases of leprosy. Oh, sa, sa, kanam, oh, 61 new cases niya. Ang uban na deform na. So once ma-deform na ka, do not expect nga, hindi katag na mong tambal, ang iyong kamot na deform na, manurok pa nagbalik, wala na. So nga to rong katuyuan sa Department of Health nga early detection, Atong tambalan kay Dewi, atong tambalan is only 6 months, na sa'yo 1 year. Niya, free pag yun. There is a region, sir, not a data on cases kani, of leprosy. Kani, amorong nakita ron sa ato ang coordinator si uh, 
Ricardo Gabigas uh -oh. nga first second quarter nga namin nakita diring mga kaso in fact di pa kay ko kapilip na ni kay kagabi mga kaso no since unsa with this year lang first second quarter man siya ah. so what we have expected nga ang everest daghan ang kaso kay daghan mami bisag asam na siya na na uban taga Mindanao mana dia mapa diagnose kay usually mag denial na sila di sila mapa diagnose sila kay maulaw So what's like about ngamo ning emphasize nga this can be treated at home nya free pag yon ay gimo kaulaw kay kaning kaning sa kita kuri na patambalan no muna among gidali nga instigma discrimination nga early signs aton aton tanaw nga matambalan tanak siya kaning sa Bohol province ka mo man ning atos una man dagdag kaso kaning secure usara pero one time nga tumik ka usa daghan lang kaso dito mo nakit an pero ang uban wa magtambal that's why you have to anticipate this advocacy nga ila gyan tumaron So ato tambal isu ka instan mapis sa kaluhi ang pasinti mo na among emphasize kaon mo maayo kay usas makawiks imong assistance kanang wa kay kaon ana siya Unsay pinakadako na to nga number of case doc ni asa nga probinsya ma mention dinhi karon sa Cebu province ni og sa kani wa man ilabot kaning Eversley o kaning Cebu Sing Clinic sa Cebu province karon daghan og sa Bohol province daghan ang kinadaghan ang Bohol province pero di gyud punta kay actually nationwide ni siya There are packet areas, maybe possibly ang ilang mga kuan na kulang sila at bukas eh, nahadlock sila. Muna ang among gibalik-balikan, among itanaw dito nga naabag yung mga kaso. Ang uban dili nila mong numar kay labi na karo usahay ang mga tabal medyo na irregular kay ang supply ba. Pero ang mga ibang ibasas nga kinilang nagdi ilang tumaron kay two weeks time to one month time magtumar na atong MDT, multiple drug therapy. Ang ilang laway, huwa na siya kakao. So muna atong gitukat di transmisyon. So naman six months, naasay one year nya free pag ina siya. Kay imo na pasagdaan, later on, ma-deform na sayang kay imong kaugmaon ba, no? Nga imbis nga mura ba mura mawa ka sa kanang grupo kay na kay depictos imong panit mo na karon skin awareness man not only leprosy but other other diseases sa skin nga ato gayon tanaon. Labi na gani erong panahon nga init mo bugno kani ato ang makakos na sa og cancer sa imong skin. So ato na bantayan maligo kas dagat labi nating summer ana usa na mati mga pasko nya not nuwi nga ang imo din panit na sunog kana kana da ang uh, born injury kana bang sa kana bang sa sunburn oo so what akay ba sunburn to na pero wa akay ba na irritated na nimong panit bisan gani kana maggamit-gamit kag mga usa na mga gamit-gamit sa imong naong bitaw bantayan sa sa kay nayo ubandeha karon labi na karon mga kay negosyo lagi ibutang kay mo lagi na not nuwi nga imong naong nagpulan na siya so there are parts sa imong skin kay imo skin baya daghan nag function aside from protective uh, function temperature temperature regulator murang mubog na ang imong panit medyo mukuan kana bang murag mulagom no kay nagkustrik man mo init mo puwasan muna nga at same time ato nang excretory organ ang atong waste product nato atong ilabay through sa atong singot muna di ba no so mag dry na imong panit kay maybe ang imong oil glands so ana imong function labi na og mag edad na ka og mga sinusticin mo dry imong panit So we advise them to give an oil or lotion nga ang imong panit dili isa mo dry. Kay once mo dry, expose ka sa mga abo, mga siminto sa panang uban diha kay di are pagino pa foreign invaders. So this this will cause skin irritation sa imong panit. But then we try to emphasize also nga basic nag pipe sa ilang mga panit dili na siya kana ang mga kurikong dili na siya kana mga so ani nga fungal infection, basic leprosy na mo nang one of the test things atong leprosy gap. The presence of lesion without any uh na sa loss of decision mo na na siya ang reposi ana siya nya ang atong health centers open na siya among kitan aw mo na nga we have to confirm also nga leprosi bigit kay usay basay imo diagnosis lahi biya sa na siya ang tambal no mo na siya unsa unsa may like tima ilhan ani sir nga murag dapat na gyud may mag check up kunang para may baon sa publiko nga murag simtoma na gyud ni siya sa leprosi og ang imong panit brown brown gyud ka So maputi ka, maputi isa ka. Pero something wrong na laing color, possibly lahat. Anyway, ang atong panit na amin ay kakulingon nga color, coloring pigments, kanyang atong nga melanocytes. So once madamis na imong melanocytes, di na siya makakulor sa imong panit. Melan pigments, no? Manang uban ay mga puti-puti. Kaya nabit ang mura bitang haum. Kaya kita ka na nagputi-puti siya. Di na siya maayo ha. Nakunawa naman imong color. Di na siya siya manakod. Kaya nabang kuan ba? Vitiligo na siya. No? Yeah. Vitiligo. Uh, Sak uh, Muna yung sakit ni Michael Jackson sa una, di ba? Kana puti-puti din eh. So, wak na siya tambal, di siya na siya manakod. Kaya ang imong pigment cells, di, di naman mag-produce of color. So, any signs sa imong panit na abnormal, magpula-pula, magputi-puti, katul pa yun. So, it means nga na siya, kanang signs and symptoms nga ang imong panit na medyo di ikisya maayo. 
disorder na siya. Natay mga facilities diri within Cebu Province or basin Cebu City dok nga maadtuan sa ato ang mga cases of leprosy kanang mga naay cases of leprosy. Daghan man ta aside sa ato mga health centers kay amo nang gipantrain atong mga uh, doctors diha no sa ato mga Ari kag sa Cebu Sing Clinic no nga sa Karita. Uh, Sing Clinic na siya. Munay government gyapon siya. Unya ato mo Eversley na sa mi ya yeah, Sing Clinic gyapon ito nga any signs and symptoms of kana uh, skin uh, irritation or maybe a disorder ato mo dito para matambangan sa sila. Kaya usahay ko mo diagnose me niya usahay ang pasyente dili sila makaaware. Usas makaayo dili ang tambal sila mismo. Kay maybe irritas tingali usay mo trabaho na simento. Nag simento ba no? Sa to pa og dili na malimpyuhan nimo kanang simento ni gahi katul kay siya. Grinder. Ratan kana ba mag bagkoan ba kagis katul mga katul na siya usanas makairita sa ilang panit. So among itambalan kana biruan gud nga uh, ah sa health center katul. Wan as lang main na nang why sakit mo na kami amo sa tanawon nga we we intensive our advocacy about leprosy nga basic nagpahipi sa ilang panit basic leprosy na siya. Kay the presence of loss of vision amo na recommend nga magtambal ka ni kay anyway free man siya. Aside aning leprosy doc, unsa pa ila in common skin diseases na ato ang masinati diri sa Philippines or sa Central Visayas lang? Uh, din ni karon kadaghanan na mo dito sa Eversley allergy. Kana eczematoid type. Kana actually group po na sa sakit nga himong tungod sa allergy na eczematoid ang imong panit mamaga. Kabantay mo magkubal na siya. Kay normally ang atong panit mo react na siya sa kanang mga irritants. So example, allergy ka sa sabon. Ini kaugan na siya, katol imong kauton. So dinin siya imong panit mubaga siya mukubal. Hantod man na sa secondary infection. So muna ang imong kontrolahon other ang allergies in the form of irritants imong panit, mga alcohol sa padang uban diha o sa mga pagkaon. Ana siya. Sunod kaning sa mga bata, no sa ilang pagpanlimpyo daga kay mga kurikong. Sa iro na siya, karapatan na siya kanang kurikong. Be not only bata, even the whole family. Oo oh, nga. Ari na siya mungutkot sa imong panit, magabi ang atake na pertin katula, kay tungod ana yang yang uh, parasite nga mukutkot sa imong panit perti ginang katula man ang karapata so atong ibasihan na yeah, to prevent that can be prevented imo nang uh, ligo ni mong iro ang source imong karapata unya mga allergens unya mang limpyo kita permi kay man we have to advise them nga personal hygiene observe kita ang proper hand washing soap and water nya yeah, curious lang pud ko dok kanang uson man gid karon ang kanang skincare products bitaw or kanang products nga atong ginabutang sa ato ang skin diba Francis so unsa yes. oh, oh. para makaibaw lang gid ang public unsa ang mga ingredients nga kanang harmful gid ug kanang mga to skin actually, diseases actually atoro mga uh, FDA nagmotor ana kay na may uban nga pangapalusot ba nga labi na og mga networking palit na mo na ni basta akong bulsa siguro na isulod pero not knowing nga uh, mga cause din sila og kana bang reactions nga to sa tong mga kliyente mo na gi-monitor kay labi na og we have to prevent kana oba sila mga contents o mga uh, lead di ba makadaot na no sobrahan nimo gamit puti to di mong naong pero ini ang bawas na mo puwas at siya kay di, di are not normal sa imong lawas kun mahimo kana bang obserbar ang nimo nga di ba makairitar ayaw na mga bartohor ayaw pangyawat kana nga susuro ay nimo anak kay bisa ganay mga shampoo nay mga shampoo ang nganas gawas prosod lain sud dagan dagan kay mga modus karon nga usahay maka makatini lagi ta barato ra man kanisi ma'am paliton ta nisya Pero ang pagbayad ni mo sa doktor, mahal sa niya palit kakitambal. Muna nga, kung mahimo, we have to be very observant. Ayaw mo pagkadanin ang mga kahumot. Kung mahimo, ang kalimpyo at ang iapas. How about, kana, do, kanang naasa ka ng internet, yani nga, kanang yeah. if ever na ay pimple, butangan, o kanang kuan, o sana siya, garlic. Uh, how effective ba na siya? Actually, na? ang garlic na siya, antiviral man na siya. Muna yung atong natural. Basta di lang nyo pliton, gamit na lang. Pero pagkino pa, if symptom persist, consult a doktor. Kaya nang ibutang nila ng mga garlic. Oh, may laing mahimo, garlic. Oh, di, uh, di isa naman mga sekundary infection, kaya bahok man ka. Huwag na yung mukis ni mo, basi allergy ka sa bungot. Diba no? Unya, pagkuman, actually, garlic na nanay property ni siya nga antiviral, nga, uh, anti-oxidant pag yun. So we have to advise din nga, kung mahimo, wala tayo sakit, kaong tagsakto, kanang balansi. Kana ba mga prutas, kana ba anti antioxidant property, nga naman palit man tao ng mga tablitas, nga naamang gina sa mga prutas, di ba? Nga di si Mastro, kanay mga pagkaon, kanay kang mantika. Kung ang imong trabaho sa sud sa ato ang uh, opisina dako imong sweldo ang imong malantaw portahan ra gud og kanang bintana di ba So wagi time nga imong lawas nga musingot kay aircon man asa may tabo katong ipangkaon ni mga taga-askeng mga cholesterol ma-deposit sa imong lawas 
So kabantay ka, itong mga matanaon nga ni Karun, itong mga silang kabisi, dugay kayo mato, kayo nagsigi mag-silpon. Diba? Niya, nagjibugas na sila, nagsigi kaut-kaut. So open ay mong pores, masudan sa kagaw mo ng managko ilang bukas. Niya, dahil yung sikat na rin piksun, napag-ipakapin nga nana. So mudako na siya, so sayang kaysa na muna nga, we have to balance our diet, our activities, kaya para ang atong immune system, atong ipayat nga, kana bang dili kayo siya makuhaan. Uh, speaking of bugas, Dok, no? Ang kanabang factor bubud na imo ha kung ang kalimpyo sa imong bed. Usa sana siya kay ang atong panit na ana say pores, labi na naong, no, di ba? Ang imong ulan imong ilisan usa ka adlaw og usa ka tuig sad. So ang abog nagsingi nagbalik-balik, no? Nya magsigi kag duko-duko, ang imong pores masudlan siya og kakaw. Dayon mo sira sa nagbalik, inig sira hanto di ba? Magdeposito na man tay kaulingon nga oil glands, mo produce sa sebum. Kanang kana ba oh, matay ka? Nas mugahi na lang siya kay gahi man hantod na sa secondary infection kay masud na sa kagaw kay imong hikapikapon kana man ang piling ka hantod nga map 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 sa imong nawo man sa bukas bisa sa buko-buko na kay punta na mga bantay ka na mga dagko kay mga bukol-bukol sa buko-buko ana siya so it has something to do of kalimpyo di ba kakita sa buko-buko pero magsakit na siya muna yung mga kumo ng mga diseases ato ang mga mga batanon Labi na magdoa kag basket. Kaya mga teenager ba no? Oh, Munal, no? Di ba? Nya din na lumaligo. Nya inus gini kanan nga tugta, tugkan na kag sibuya. So not no nga with it na gyud poy punggos na pag mga parang pa, mga nga abog-abog nga maka cause nag allergen. Ana siya. Tagi na. So murag dagandagan na tag na cover yes. about skin Francis no. Balikan lagi <laughs> ka namo um Dr. Rivera Arena sa tani um attorney Attorney Ms. Melissa. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Attorney Kumapay, uh, uh, let's talk about our World Remembrance Day. Uh, when and what is this manya kaning observance? Okay. Yes, uh, so kanina I was able to give you a brief background of the World Remembrance Day uh, for road traffic victims. So as I was saying, this has been celebrated since the 90s and it started in uh, uh, Europe, uh, specifically Britain, until it uh, moved, uh, it was recognized by the UN and in 2005, sabi nga nila, um, we're encouraging all countries to please support the, the World Remembrance Day for tra Road Traffic Victims, which is this Sunday, so November 17. And um, in line with that, uh, what's, this, what's very important is uh, the consciousness of road safety. And the uh, road safety, uh, why I'm here right now in the Department of Health is because um, we, we tend to uh, shy away from road safety as a health issue. We, uh, we neglect the fact that uh, there are a lot of road traffic victims and uh, be, due to road crashes and uh, it causes death and injuries at, uh, at the same time. So, um, what's this? Uh, under the World Health Organization, um, road safety issues is uh, considered a non-communicable disease. So, I'm, I'm beside <laughs> a doctor right now who is speaking about the communicable diseases and skin allergies. Uh, th that is the opposite side. Naman. But then, we're also uh, considering that road safety is also a health issue because you know, there's, uh, it causes a lot of... Uh, death as well as injuries and uh, yeah um since um, our advocacy because i've been part of the uh, that's the buckle up kids ah yes, yes. Uh, so i've been part of the advocacy on road safety in the philippines and right now we, we are part of a very loose coalition called the philippine road safety coalition which is composed uh, with the lead, of course, of uh, Department of Transportation and uh, other agencies, including DOH, as well as Department of Trade and Industry, DepEd for the education for the parents and the children, as well as um, a lot of organizations, including UNICEF, WHO, and uh, local NGOs like myself from IDEALS, and. Um, uh, academe at the same time. So uh, what we're doing right now is uh, promoting, uh, uh, we recently lobbied a law, uh, uh, yeah, lobbied a bill, now a law. Yes. That's newly approved, uh, the Republic Act 11229, yes. right? Okay. It's the Child Safety and Motor Vehicles Act, ma'am. Mm. 
Yeah. So what is this uh, attorney? Uh, yes. Uh, so this law is uh, all about the use. There's three components of the law, and which is uh, very important because uh, what's this? The what we always tend to remember when we're driving our motor vehicles. Uh, here in the law, we talk about private motor vehicles. So uh, when we we drive our motor vehicles, we always remember that seat belts. We have to use our seat belts, and uh, we. What's this? This has been a part of uh, our uh, what's this consciousness because of also a law in 1999 that was enacted, the Seat Belts Use Act. But we always re forget that our children cannot use a proper seat belt because they're too small. Yes, and there, it would be a, uh, not instead restrain them, but rather oh uh, no, not help them, but it would even injure them more. And in the in the what's this event of a coalition, uh, a collision? I'm sorry. In the event of a coalition, there uh, the tendency is instead of helping the child uh, secure itself, it's uh, gonna injure and even possibly lead to death. Because for example, the the seat belt may be here and the uh, what's Might this, get the neck, stuck. Yeah. Mm -mm, and uh, it won't uh, prevent them from. Um, stopping or abrupt stoppage for example so uh, th uh, that is what we were advocating we advocated this law called the child safety and motor vehicles law because first of all it contains the mandatory use of child restraint systems or the child safety seats okay so uh, we're not restraining the child from uh, what's this from being a child but we are actually helping them stay safe in the uh, in the car because as we know uh, what's this uh, the most vulnerable in a uh, in a vehicle when you're being transported from one place to another is the child because the child cannot drive the child cannot also uh, what's this uh, even uh, uh, an infant for example zero years old coming from the hospital newly born he can't help himself she can't help himself right so th these are the considerations that we looked into and uh, we were also coming from the seat belts act uh, at that time because uh, uh, yes so there's a provision there about uh, what's this the admin uh, creating an administrative order uh, to uh, for infants and uh, under the law also, there was a consideration of six years old and below cannot sit in front of the, ch uh, the car seat. Six years old and below. But in this law, we deemed that since you're already mandating children to use um, child safety seats from 12 years old and below, it's also um, not but right that you mandate that they don't sit in front. Uh, so from 12 years old and below, uh, a child cannot uh, be sitting in front. But remember, it's not always just the age. It's the age, weight, and height. Yes, because uh, there are many instances that a child may look uh, 12 years old, but already too big or very too small for its age. And if it's, uh, what's this? remember, a child safety seat also is something to protect a child who is not yet able to use a safe seat belt, an ordinary seat belt. But if you're already old enough or your muscles are already big enough uh, or strong enough to, uh, what's this, to use a proper seat belt, then use the proper seat belt. But uh, the age is just a number, but it's really about the proper usage if it's for you at that time. That's why if you notice, child safety seats are different uh, as you grow older. From the infant to the what's this to the four years old to the uh, so there's different age groups for that so uh, uh, very important also in the law the third part is the um, the child cannot be left unattended in the uh, in the motor vehicle I know that when the uh, the law was passed in February of this year there were a lot of issues that came about about I I don't know if you heard about the uh, four children who were left, uh, were seen dead inside the car. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure as to the whereabouts of the case now, but uh, that, uh, that also came about because we thought that uh, the parents might think that when you put a child on a car seat, you'd think that he or she is already restrained or limited in action, so cannot move around. So you can go out of the car. Um, I know in the, what's this? In, and abroad, for example, there are gasoline stations where you, it's self-service. 
So you uh, go out of your car, you leave the child in the back seat, and then um, you go pay to the cashier. So, but that is not a no-no in the Philippines because that was our very uh, consideration that um, not just because you feel that the child is already safe in her, her or his car seat, you can already leave the child behind because you never know. There's always suffocation. There's all there is uh, intervening events that a child may not be able to lose her or himself away from. Uh, by uh, especially if uh, he's already restrained in the car seat. Yeah, speaking of that, what are the penalties when someone do not follow that law? Ah, yes. So there's uh, different penalties. Uh, as you, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, uh, we're in coordination with the, OA, uh, the DTI as well as the OTR here because primarily this is a law about uh, what's this road road traffic uh, road traffic use. And uh, so when we say that, we always think who is most responsible, the driver, for example, or the parents. So, uh, but we also, since we're also using um, a CRS or a child safety seat, we also look at the kind of CRS that's being used. So uh, there are, what's this, there are penalties against drivers. Uh, there's the first offense of uh, 1,000, second offense of 2,000, and then 5,000 plus uh, the, what's this, your license will be confiscated if it's a continuous offense. And at the same time, there's also an offense of the uh, four manufacturers, distributors, and those who sell or resell um, substandard uh, CRS. And there's also the um, tampering of the PS mark and the ICC mark of the CRS. So uh, this is akin to a previous law or uh, that was previously implemented, the helmet law. So if you're very familiar with uh, how the uh, DTI is uh, conducting the PS and ICC mark, those are things that you should not tamper with because those are already, um, as DTI explains, there's a QR code in the, uh, what's this, in the, the helmet, for example, there's a QR code that, yes, so when you scan that code, you can already see the details of manufacturing date, if there's a, an expiration or uh, whatever the, uh, the qual uh, what's this, the details of the, the helmet. So to tamper with that is also a violation. And so, um, yeah, so this is not just about road traffic, it's also about uh, consumer welfare because of the use of the child safety seats. So uh, regarding this World Remembrance Day for Road Traffic Victims, um, what are our activities in the national level now? Oh, okay. So uh, regarding this, uh, usually we conduct um, forums as well as exhibits. Last year, when we were lobbying the, bo the bill, uh, which is a bill then, we had a press conference and a photo exhibit in both houses of Congress. So now this is a law. It's more of, uh, what's this, um, public awareness now. And uh, for our group, the ideals, we are supposed to what says, conduct a, a roundtable discussion with the public here in Visayas. But uh, uh, we uh, deemed to move the date. Supposedly it was uh, 29th of November. Now it's uh, December 6th. And hopefully we can encourage uh, you guys to come um, because uh, we deem that it be moved uh, in time for the IRR, the Implementing Rules and Regulations, yes, for the law. Because uh, uh, what says DOTR is targeting to be able to uh, hopefully sign it this month, and uh, in time we will be able to talk about it more because it's premature if uh, I discuss it now. But uh, hopefully by then, at least uh, we get the very nitty gritty for what the OH has to do, the DEPAD has to do, the DTI has to do. And uh, there, hopefully, uh, I'm inviting you guys December 6th. But as to other events in Metro Manila to celebrate the World Day of Remembrance for Road Traffic Victims, I know there are um, what's this, uh, the talks as well uh, and uh, some conferences. Thank you, ma'am. Friends? Yes, Stacy. Uh, at this point in time, let us open the floor for our friends from the media to ask questions. Can we have um, data on uh, road victims or road accidents? How, 
how many are we talking about for the bill to, you know, for them to be frantic about, <laughs> about the, you know, advocacy that they pass the bill, uh, the, lit, the lit lang, no? So, uh, are we talking of how many victims? Kaya in a year, uh, because of uh, road safety measures na wala, and then uh, how many are children that are victims in, in this sense? Uh, specifically, if you have national data and uh, central Visayas data, if you have. And I'd like to answer you positively with numbers, but uh, that is also one consideration that we have at the moment. We do not have a data base for uh, what's this specific numbers, specifically, for example, for children, because uh, when we take into account road crashes um, in the Philippines, they are not considered uh, as a separate data. So hopefully also with this law, we will be able to gather more specific data that would uh, pertain to children. And um, at the moment, uh, when we were describing this to the uh, congressman, um, we, uh, what we were giving them was uh, the, uh, nas an international data uh, by the what's this World Health Organization, and we would uh, look at the age groups because at the moment it's uh, what's this 15 to 27, as well as the 9 to uh, 15 age groups that are most uh, what's this uh, victims of road crashes, and uh, that's the number one cause of death. Even uh, UNICEF before said it was drowning. Now they're considering that it is a road crash, and uh, 500 a day is a uh, international data. So um, hopefully, mm, 500 a day uh, of uh, what's this deaths for road traffic uh, for children, and hopefully. Um, with this law, we will be able to gather more um, what's this, uh, quantitative data that uh, we can use to further strengthen the, uh, what's this, the advocacy for children in uh, um, tra transportation. At this point in time, mga yun nakita sa ilahang closing statements. Let's start first with Dr. Juanri Rivera. So, uh, Hinatot sa ito ang uh, advocacy, makita, ato na yung makita sa TV, no, di ba? Nga sa radyo, nasa sa radyo. Yes. Nga hinatot na ito mga kagsunan na nga, nagpamatiin na karong mga uh, urasa. Nga unta, magmatunan siya sila mga panit, kay sometimes magsukun sa gamay. Hindi kadako na siya, kung may mo, limpyuhan na niyo, makasama ka, limpyuhan na niyo, bahala na magdugo, basta limpyuhan na niyo. Kay once, di ka makalimpyo, yung butang na niyo, magbusak unsa lang butang, you are bringing also the, the uh, organism. So, kuya, kaya ma-infected. Sa so, itong mga bata, kaya importante kayo ng mga bata, ito, labi na ilang mga panit, sensitive kasi tanam, any science of skin irritation, i-consultant as doctor, or kung mahi mo, layo pa mo, doktor, limpiuhan ko na inyo, wash with soap and water. Ano lang siya. Thank you so much, Doc. We also have attorney Melissa Pumapay. Okay, so, um, yes, I guess my message, uh, my closing message would be that uh, hopefully with uh, our advocacy to keep uh, oh, what's this, discussing about uh, road crashes, the issue about road crashes, especially now for the World Tra Day of Traffic Remembrance, World Day of Remembrance for Road Traffic Victims, uh, we, we remember that these uh, people who have passed away or have been injured because of road crashes, which most likely everyone in this room has a relative or even has been a part of a, a road crash in the previous, uh, yesterday or the day before. And hopefully uh, that's not true, but uh, it, it's very common. And we, we know that, especially in the developing world. And uh, with the, our advocacy, we hope that uh, everyone uh, what says does not neglect that it's also a health issue that it's killing our economy because uh, th uh, many people are uh, what says hindered by these uh, injuries and deaths that happen on the road um, and uh, so we uh, I hope that uh, with this advocacy we are able to produce more um, what says as uh, asked a while ago quantifiable data because it's very important that we have an evidence-based approach and that's why even the whole world not just the Philippines is looking into um, what's a strengthening our uh, 
our road uh, road safety uh, systems, not just the the uh, what's this safer users, safer roads, as well as uh, a whole uh, what's this a whole um, integrated approach. So that yes. So hopefully um, you would look back uh, come this Sunday. You would look at the faces. You would look at the stories of uh, what happened uh, when this uh, road uh, was this crash happened. And uh, uh, just uh, last point, I guess, uh, is that uh, we we are encouraging the use of road crash instead of road accident. Because when you say accident, you're always thinking that it's an act of God, act of nature. There is no responsibility. But that is what we want everyone to know, that you have a responsibility and you have something that you can do to prevent this road crash that will cause injury or death to someone or yourself. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Doc. And thank you, Attorney. Uh, yes. And Stacy, uh, safety should be a top priority, be it on what we put in our skin or what we apply, and also along the road. Safety should be a top concern. And with that, Stacy. That's right, Francis. So at this point in time, in behalf of PIA 7, Agio 7, My TV Channel 30, DYMR Radio Pilipinas Cebu, I would like to thank our guests, our panelists for today, and our media friends for joining us in today's one-hour discussion. Uguntag, magkita-kita pata next week, next Tuesday for another round of discussion. This has been Stacy Marie Baladia. Oga ko si Francis Nakwa nga nagaingon sa kasayuran ang kaugmaran. kaugmaran.